Is this argument valid or is it a fallacy? If I work hard, I'll get a raise. If I get a raise, I'll buy a boat. If I don't buy a boat, I must not have worked hard. We could build a truth table for this one, just like we've done before, but let's try to take what we've done with previous arguments and the general forms that we've noticed and try to see if we can determine the validity of this argument without a truth table. Again, we break down the argument into premises and the conclusion. The premises are the first two statements. The conclusion is the last statement. If I work hard, so we'll call working hard P. I get a raise, we'll call that Q. If I get a raise, I'll buy a boat, we'll call that R. So that the first premise is P implies Q. The second premise is Q implies R. The conclusion is, if I don't buy a boat, not R, I must not have worked hard, not P. So the argument looks like this. P implies Q, Q implies R, therefore not R implies not P. And again, those three dots in that triangular pattern mean therefore. From the first two premises, we could think P implies Q and Q implies R. We know that it's valid then to say P implies R. That's transitive reasoning. And we know that P implies R is equivalent to not R implies not P. How do we know that? Well, that's the contrapositive. So by using transitive reasoning and then noting that the conclusion you come up with is equivalent to its contrapositive, which is the one we have, we can tell that this argument is a valid one because transitive reasoning is valid and the contrapositive is equivalent. So this conclusion is a valid conclusion to draw. So we could have drawn a truth table for this, but we can avoid that if we remember those basic logical argument forms that we observed from the previous examples.